Hello everybody. On this occasion, I want to tell you what inside our earth. But first of all, I want to talk about the sequence of the planet. The first, we have Mercury, and then we have Venus. After Venus, we have our local planet, the Earth, and then we have we have Mars. After Mars, we have the biggest planet, the Jupiter, and then we have Saturn. After that, we have Uranus, and the last one is Neptune. Talking about the Earth, more than 70% surface of the Earth are water, and the Earth has a diameter of about 12,742 kilometers. There are seven continents in the world, Asia, Africa, Europe, North America, South America, Australia, and Antarctica. And there are five oceans in the world, Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, Arctic Ocean, and Southern Ocean. The Earth divided into three layers, the cross layer, the mantle layer, and the core layer. The cross layer. The cross layer is the top component of the atmosphere. We live in this layer. This layer divided into two types. That are oceanic crust and continental crust. The thickness varies depending on where you are on the earth. Big oceanic crust being 5 to 10 kilometers and continental mountain range being up to 30 to 45 kilometers. The temperature within that crust will vary from air temperature at surface to approximately 870 degrees Celsius in the upper section. At this temperature, we will begin to melt off and from the below lying metal. Geologists subdiv subdivided a crust into different plates that move both in relation to another. Given that our surface is mostly constant in area, you cannot make crust without destroying a comparable amount of crust. With convection of underlying metal, we see insertion of metal magma along the ocean ridge, constantly forming a new oceanic crust. However, to make room for this oceanic crust, we must subduct or sink below the, the continental crust. Geologists have studied extensively the history of this plate movement, but we are sorely lacking in determining why and how this plate move the way they do. And then we have mantle layer. The mantle layer is the biggest part of the earth, up to 84% of the earth's volume. The mantle layer located the, between the crust and the core of the earth. The temperature of mantle layer range from 500 to 900 degrees Celsius in the upper portion and over 5,000 and over 4,000 degrees Celsius near the core boundary. The core layer The core layer divided into outer and the inner core. The outer core The outer core is liquid largely iron layer of the earth that lies below, below the mantle gear. Geologists have confirmed that the outer core is liquid due to seismic surface of the earth and the layer. The outer core is 2300 km and goes down to approximately 3400 3, km into the earth. No one has ever seen the outer core, but based on a number of indicators, the geologists believe that the outer core is 80% iron, some nickel, and 
number of different lighter elements. When Earth was just beginning to go down, billions of years ago, heavier elements sunk down into the center, while less dense elements rise to the surface. Therefore, we see a general increase in density as you get closer to the center of the Earth. The outer core is hot enough to be melted, but not under quite pressure to make the iron solid again. As seen in the inner core, the temperature of the outer core ranges from 4000 to 5730 5, degrees Celsius. Amazingly, the outer core is free enough and low enough in viscosity that it may spin faster than the entire earth. This differential velocity of spinning of spinning along with convection and turbulence flow of the iron outer core creates the earth magnetic field. The earth inner core. The inner core is centermost layer of the earth and is in many ways similar to the outer core. It also primarily iron and nickel and has a radius about 1220 kilometers. The differentiation about other core and the inner core is density driven. The pressure become high enough that despite very high temperature, the inner core is solid. It is also enriched in use in usual heavy element, including gold, silver, platinum, palladium, and tungsten. The temperature reach up to 500 and 4000 degrees celsius and the pressure up to 360 gigapascal the inner core is about 70 percent of the moon radius and is is approximately same as same temperature as the surface of the sun the useful things inside the earth. Inside the earth, we have iron ore that usually used as an accessories and household appliance. And then we have coal ore that usually used as a fuel. And then we have gold ore that usually used as a jewelry. We have clay that usually used to make a brick. We have stone that usually used to make a building and we have tin ore that usually used as a packaging material the conclusion the earth is divided into three layers, into three layers. and inside the earth there are many useful things i think that all that i can say thank you for watching my video and goodbye